Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever you're watching this video. I'm going to make this one quick because we're actually getting ready to head out. And uh, we're going to make a pit stop this morning and probably just like get a little bit of an earlier start to the day. However, I did want to touch on something and talk about something that I noticed here recently, and that is um, something that I talked about last year. And I, I talked about it on and off periodically on different channels, but I think it's important to uh, remind folks and continuously make the offer of having someone to talk to. And especially if, <clears throat> so in this particular situation, somebody I was talking to not too long ago, I don't know if they intentionally said it or if they accidentally slipped up, but they mentioned depression, battling depression. <clears throat> and I didn't take it lightly, but I also didn't want to, you know, um, you know, open up any 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 healing wounds or anything like that in the particular environment and situation that we were in. It was not the right time, not the right place. But I didn't not hear it. But I'm also also realizing communication is a big deal. Not only effectively communicating, but lack thereof. So um, from time to time, I think it's important that we all do a wellness check for ourselves and for others. And most importantly, talk about anything and everything. Again, I don't know why this new operating system update just shuts my camera off. I, I don't get it. But um, talk to whomever. Um, talk to somebody, okay? Especially, hopefully, somebody who will listen and talk back and provide you with some relatively sound response. I don't want to call it advice. It's really like a response because I think a lot of people, if they could actually hear back to hear back what they're speaking, the feelings and emotions that they're sharing, if they could hear it, they would interpret it differently than speaking it or feeling it or thinking it. So in this particular situation, we've gone probably almost 48 hours without hearing from someone. And I don't really like that. So uh, I want to do a wellness check. Fortunately, they're not too far away, so we can try to make that happen. But uh, the thing is, is like today in comparison to like when I was a kid, if you didn't hear from somebody, it was kind of normal because, you know, we weren't super uh, instant with communication. But now with smartphones and technology and AI and chat GPT and everything that's out there, social media, if I don't hear from you in like a response in like 30 minutes, then it's kind of like, hey, what the heck? Are you ghosting me? But if I don't hear a response from you in over a day, it's like now I'm getting concerned. Um. But I do feel like we are entering in and approaching a period of time where um, challenges are going to pre present themselves and uh, obstacles are going to be placed in front of people in a variety of different ways. And we have to do our best to carry on and overcome and persevere and push through and come out the other side triumphantly successful. And it may not always be an individual task. So <clears throat> send in the offer. If anybody wants to talk, reach out. And if you know anybody else who could potentially be in this situation, reach out and let's do our best to try to help them do their best, even if they're not at their best. And um, don't necessarily brush off or discount some of the things that people say or do or don't do or don't say. And you notice these changes in their relatively routine behavior because these are clear indicators and warning signs. Now, I hope to come back to you guys and report good news. And it was a 
fluke and it was a uh just a temporary disruption miscommunication oh i didn't see the call i didn't see the the message or whatever perfectly fine i've been busy that'd be great but i will say that uh with the economy and debt and inflation and a recession and war global conflict uh social unrest um political differences the whole nine is adding up to this mountainous um, chip, right, on people's shoulders. And I don't know what's going to set everybody off. And I don't know what their response is to trauma. Everybody's going to be different. I saw an uh, article. I need to pull it back up and share it with you guys on a video. And now they're talking about how their concern Congress is concerned, these lawmakers are concerned, politicians are concerned about how student loan repayments are going to affect people's credit scores, which I don't know if they're going to do anything to manipulate this system yet again, but we have to realize and understand how much pressure is being put on so many different people in so many different ways which usually it was like maybe one or two pain points, but now it's almost like there's like five or 10 pain points. It could be your job. It could be your relationship. It could be your health. It could be your religious beliefs. It could be your political, you know, uh, side you're on. It could be your income, your savings, your retirement. It could be your, your money in general. It could be your, ability to maintain a roof over your head. Like there's so much going on. It's unreal. It's, it's insane. It's just crazy, unthinkable. And then if you jump on social media, if you jump on the news, you jump on anything really that connects you to the outside world, you're going to be continuously and constantly fed an algorithm that provides you with more doom and gloom. And what they're describing now is doom scrolling and doom spending. So the doom scrolling is continuously scrolling through and seeing more and more bad news, uh, further having an impact on your own personal, mental, emotional, and psychological well-being. Then that leads to doom spending, which is driving people out to spend money they don't have or charge credit cards to the max, this, that, and the other, to try to cope with the problems or at least try to distract themselves from the problems, only not realizing that they're actually making them worse. And then when that's over and that high wears off, you're back to the doom scrolling. Then you get the bill. Then you lose your job. Then your car gets repossessed. Then your, you know, your dog runs away. And then your significant other wants to break up. And then it's like never ending. But if... We have these discussions and conversations beforehand, and we can address the issue, identify the problem, essentially organize it and categorize it and create a hierarchy of triage in which we're going to then address the problem, try to solve and fix the problem. We can effectively reduce the possibility of induced pain, which ultimately is the goal. Their goal is to induce the pain. Our goal is to avoid <laughs> and if experiencing it, um, uh, recover from that pain. Speaking of recovery, I think I'm there. I think I'm there. Today has been no pressure up here and there's been no uh, loss of blood <laughs> from here. I don't have any tissues up my nose, which ironically people were kind of Losing it on my main, my other channel because I recorded a video with a little tissue on my nose, so I, my nose wasn't running the entire time or bleeding the entire time. But either way, uh, on the road to recovery, and that is a plus, and that is all thanks to Michelle and her hard work to uh, and and love and care to make sure that that happened. Maybe my voice will be back to normal tomorrow, hump day, or at least by the weekend. And if not, then, hey, this is my new voice. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, again, info down below. If you want to reach out, feel free. But at the same time, if you know someone else out there that could potentially use a, a, a call, a text, a tap on the shoulder, a, a talk, a conversation, a chat, 
uh, don't leave them hanging.